rusher going against a technically savvy but not necessarily uber athletic left tackle it's a similar kind of deal guys that are just have traded in nuance and both of those guys have and i feel like it's still really fun back and forth it's intriguing to me they always say good pitching beats good hitting in baseball and i guess you would say a good corner always beats a good wide receiver i don't I'd say the opposite of that because the re receiver knows where he's going. So it's yeah. kind of he's the pitcher in this case. So you're always the reactor when you're the cornerback, similar to how you're always reacting as a hitter. So even if you can kind of get a pitcher every once in a while, for the most part, the pitcher is always going to have the slightest bit of an upper hand. Like if you are Antonio Brown, you hit a big game against Jacksonville. He was doing it against guys that weren't necessarily these two who plays the slot a lot against Colton. Sure. But you're gonna get yours to a degree. Yeah. If you're, if you're, if it's a five catch, sixty yard day for Antonio Brown, you won. So that's kind of what I'm saying. They're well, always you gonna know, get you once or twice. Wouldn't the cornerback be the pitcher in the sense that you can give them, you can play a play so good that you have no option, but you're, you're out of play. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that, that, I get that, that that's what the analogy. That's where I, I see the that analogy. It's like if you play the play perfectly. The receiver has no chance, which is very similar. Yeah, I disagree with that. I think a receiver does have a chance, even if you play it perfectly. There are times where just like, I put my hands up. Jam him at the line. I mean, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Even though this is We'll find out who's the we'll pitcher. We'll find out. We'll find out who's the pitcher when we watch Keenan Allen against A.J. Boye. It's a fun matchup, man. I'm excited about it. I like that game. You don't as much. I just, I, I don't know. Hey, it's is the right, game buddy. here? Is it in LA? Here? It's snowing in Chicago. I don't know where here is. What are we talking about? <laughs> We're recording this in, from Santa Monica. We all have tank tops on. You guys have pulled out that joke twice right this morning. It wasn't on. It wasn't on. That's fair. But I, I've in, heard it twice. We're in the middle of Hollywood wearing polo shirts. It, it makes me feel no better. That game is in Jacksonville, Florida. Oh. Where it is not snowing. The LA of Florida. <laughs> Coming up, Danny Kelly joins us riding a wave of success with his fantasy sleeper picks, and we'll see if we can keep that going. Plus, we'll give you next week's headlines with first of the Edmund Ratchet with 100. That one, I. I at www.huskytools.com. You that much. Okay. Be down and double it on your sport. It's on every matchup and a mobile site that make. Okay, it's time to welcome in Danny Kelly, our fantasy football. We're back. You're a genius. <laughs> I get my title back, guys? Yeah, you're back. You got Sweet. your you wearing a title belt around Seattle? <laughs> it was a good week. It was a good week, guys. Uh, it helped to have five guys, but all five of them hit, so yeah. I'm, I'm really happy about it. Are you wearing your all black today for Richard Sherman? Oh, God. That's just brutal. I mean... He's been such a he's been a mainstay for that defense for so long. I mean, he I don't think he's missed a game in like seven years or something. It's crazy. The fact that he was able to one walk off the field and two just walk around the sideline down. like nothing had happened. Because yeah. you know everything I've heard about tearing your Achilles, it's like snapping a rubber band that happens to be like as thick as a rope. Oh god! So you feel it like you feel it like roll up your leg. So the fact that you can do that and just like chill for a couple hours is kind of ridiculous. He said he heard it pop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like everyone, oh, every explanation yeah. of I, I've ever heard is that like it's a disgusting injury that you know right away. So it was pretty cool to see him, you know, rallying around his teammates. His teammates rallying around him. I mean, obviously the last year it's been kind of, you know, weird for him. There was some talk that he didn't want to be in Seattle. There was the trade rumors, and last year obviously he was getting in kind of like arguments with his teammates and his coaches, and it's just been a, kind of a crazy year for him, but. You know, obviously it was really sad, but it was also really cool to see just those sideline interactions that kind of put the human the human factor back into the sport, right? Like, it was like, wow, he is devastated. His teammates are devastated. They put their heart and souls into this, and, you know, he knew his season was over. It was kind of, it was devastating. I can, I can hear you getting broken up over there, buddy. I don't Pete, Car you, Pete but... Carroll was, like, getting super emotional in the, in the post-game presser. Like, you could see it. It really the, affected the team. The Seahawks have this thing, though, right? Like, it's how you, people are with their families. Like, I can say whatever I want about my brother. Yeah. As soon as you do, I'm punching you in the face. Like, that's definitely <laughs> yeah. the feel that Seattle has. Like, we can do whatever we want. Don't say a bad word about anybody in this room. I think that's right on. I mean, I think that they've said that several times. It's like a family that, the, you know, love our brothers is kind of like replaced the Legion of Boom as the LOB. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's like a, like a you know, it's a fraternal 
relationship with a lot of those guys, so it was devastating for them. Um, there was some speculation that the reason there was so much emotion was that maybe there's there's some thought that Richard Sherman's time with the Seahawks is over. What do right. you think about that? Well, he's I believe he's still under contract next yeah, year. 